What is going on, guys? Insane Dragon back another video. Want to take time on my day to talk to you guys about something that the whole Madden Mobile community is far too familiar with. That being this three week to one month transition block from the current Madden Mobile to the new Madden Mobile season. And my question is, why does it have to suck so bad? Why do all the Mad Mobile YouTubers, as well as people who play the game recreationally, have to be so miserable with this game for a month? And I really thought about it. Like, I literally sat down and just really thought about this for, like, at least an hour. And I think that EA needs to provide chances for the community to unlock either more information about the game or get more perks on day one. So some of the ways I thought EA could spice up the game in this dead period is to do community challenges uh, weekly. And what these community community challenges would be is, uh, you know, obviously we have these Madden Overdrive events, we have these season review events, you know, if the community plays these 10 million times, then everyone gets a free TL on day one. Or, you know, something along the lines of that. You know, if everybody plays these events, then everyone gets 10 free pro packs when the game starts or something like that. You know, we should be offered perks for next year's game to still be inclined to play this year's game and finish strong. Because at this point, no one cares about acquiring players for the team anymore. You know, uh, this recent event, to get your popcorn ready for T.O. Not sure if we're still getting more players or not. I know other channels have commented on it, but I haven't really took a chance to, to watch those videos. I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube lately other than my own channel, but not interested in acquiring any more players for this year if that's something that they plan on doing. What I would be interested in is playing these season review events all day if I knew that it would allow me to get 14 pro packs in next year's game or something of that something of that nature. So the first thing I definitely thought of was community challenges and getting the community excited about next year's game and allowing us to earn perks in next year's game. Something else that I thought of was that EA has done a terrible job of building the relationship between game changers and the rest of the Mad Mobile community. Terrible job. And I think they could use this dead period in between games as a way to rebuild that relationship that we've been lacking. And the way you do that is you incentivize EA game changers to release more little nuggets about the game. You know, what legends we're going to have next year or what sets are we going to have next year? You know, how how are you going to make coins in next year's game? More um, information that EA would usually like to keep under wraps. You know, incentivize game changers to do that if the community, you know, shares Mad Mobile Overdrive a certain amount of times or if the community, like I said, plays live events a certain amount of times, you know, there's ways that EA could find a way to make this period of the game meaningful, and I feel like they've been lacking in that respect, and, you know, the the bits and nuggets that we've gotten from Game Changers is just, honestly, I haven't even watched all the Game Changers videos from Mad Mobile Overdrive because I'm just not excited about the game in that respect, and, it's all EA's fault that I'm not excited for the game. They just haven't built the game up the way they should have. And as a result, you know, I'm going to play the game, obviously, for you guys. But I'm not excited for the game at all, you know. And I just I just wish that EA took the time out to actually make this promo run that they're doing for Overdrive right now, you know, something a lot more exciting and that me as a consumer – you know, makes it makes me really excited about the game. Honestly, I don't know the exact day that the uh, reset happens. I don't know when that three-day period is from when this season ends and when the next season starts. I'm just, I, I, I'm honestly not excited for Mad Mobile Drive at all. Maybe I'm the only person, but EA has done a terrible job of making the community excited. And 
that's kind of my whole spiel. You know, there's two ways EA can make this exciting. Obviously, they're not going to implement it this year, but in the future, community challenges and um, rebuilding the relationship between consumers and the EA game changers would make for such a better rollout period, in my opinion. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, not too long of a video, but you know, had to get those thoughts out and, uh, you know, just let me know kind of how you guys feel about that. So it's been your boy in St. John. Hope you guys really leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that means the world to me and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.